Hey guys, it's Marguerite here, and um, I thought I would do a different video. Now, before I get started, I want to say this video is still recorded on my iPhone. Um, I'm getting a new micro microphone. I was going to say microwave. Anyways, I'm getting a new microphone for my um, camcorder. So I am using my iPhone for now, but I really wanted to make this video because this is the first day from school that I am actually free of homework. And I've got all my assignments done early, so I'm so happy that I can make a video for you guys. Um, this makeup look was inspired by Beauty in um, Beauty... Oh my god, I have to look on my phone and tell you the app. It's a great app. I suggest if you guys have an iPhone and Android, you go download it. It's just a whole bunch of beauty gurus. They don't necessarily have a YouTube. Some are vloggers. Some just like beauty and they post pictures and stuff like that. So this was actually an inspired look um, for fall. If you guys want a tutorial on this, let me know. Um, I definitely love this look. It's so simple and all drugstore products were used. So anyways, um, this video is for all of my subscribers who are starters. Um... No, I have something in my throat. Anyways, who are starters on beauty and kind of want to get some beauty products but don't know what to get and you don't want to necessarily go and get MAC and Sephora and it's just basically a drugstore beauty product starter kit. So I don't really talk about... Ew. I don't really talk about brushes that I use. Um, if you guys do want a brush starter kit, let me know and I'll do that in another video. So um, enough talking and let me get started. First, I'm going to get started with the face products and I'm going to start it off with primers. Now, um, there's two primers that I want to tell you about. The one that I've been using lately is the Remel... Remuel, 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 I don't know how to pronounce this still, London Fix, Fix and Perfect Primer. Um, it's in the color 001, and it's just an orange color. It looks like this. Um, all it is, honestly, is just an orange color, but it goes on so good. It really sets your foundation. This is definitely perfect, perfect, perfect primer, and it works so good. It is a little bit pricey. It is um, $11.98, I believe. It's 11 I know it's close to $12, um, but another thing that works exactly the same is NYC um, which is New York color skin smooth skin perfecting primer this per is perfect you can get this at CVS Rite Aid Walgreens and this was $3.99 and it works just the same as this I just like this more because it's more of a cream lotion and it moisturizes my face more than this this is more um, oily so I definitely like this though um, this was like I said $3.99 and it works just the same as this so I definitely suggest you pick up a primer just to set your foundation blush or anything you're gonna be using on your face of course if you're not using anything bit anything <laughs> anything on your face you can skip totally skip this step so this is something I definitely suggest so on to the face products um, I use so many I've used so many different foundations the one I always start out started the one first one I started out with was the fit me foundation from Maybelline this works awesome I love this so so much I definitely suggest if you are new to makeup to use this it goes on really good it's so easy it fits your skin perfectly fit me I'm in the color 325 um this has a set to it and it's easy if you know one color of your skin it automatically matches with the rest of your colors and it go it ranges from the powder the concealer and the liquid foundation so i definitely suggest you go pick this up the one that i have been using recently though that i also suggest you can pick up is the covergirl natural Lux um foundation and i love this this is my new favorite foundation so no more of this for now but this is my new one um this is i picked this up for 8.99 and this one is a bit more pricey it can range to $12. When I got it, it was on sale for $9.99. So drugstores always have a good sale. So definitely check those out. Um, so I definitely suggest if you're going to go with foundation, then I suggest you pick up a liquid foundation. Um, I suggest you pick up a concealer. I am all out of the um, Fit Me concealer. So I do use the um, Alme Clear Complexion Concealer. Um, this is really, really good. This is about $6.99 at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. Um, so I definitely suggest you pick up a concealer because it does um, even out any redness that you have. It's good for any cover-up that you need to do under eye. It can also work as an eye concealer. So I definitely um, suggest that you pick this out. For an eye concealer, um, oh, where's my eye concealer? Okay, for an eye concealer, I use the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. You can get this online at e.l.f.com or any Target stores, anywhere that sells e.l.f. products for $1. This works really good as an eye primer, and it just goes on so easy. I've been using this for so long, so I definitely, it's a definitely an inexpensive brand, and it's top quality. So for the powder, um, you can either pick out, pick up a loose powder or a pressed powder. Um, I've started using the pressed powder from Maybelline, which is the Fit Me, um, 
foundation. I started using this. I'm in, again in the color 325. Um, and these are about $8. Or you can pick up a loose powder, which is now my new favorite thing. Um, so either one of these is good for a starter kit. Um, I definitely also suggest that if you are going to be using foundation, you get a Complexion Perfection from e.l.f. And it just looks like this. This is really, really, really good for foundation because it sets the foundation and it just gives you a more volumu voluminous, maybe I shouldn't use that word, voluptuous. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it definitely gives you a completed look and it perfects your skin. So I definitely suggest you pick this up. This is $2 from e.l.f. Um, so enough with the face. Um, for blushes, um, I'm only going to be showing you two blushes that I think if you want blushes you should pick out again if you don't want anything on your face or you're just looking for like simple stuff then you definitely can skip this part and fast forward to the other stuff but for those of you who are looking for also blushes um i suggest you pick up one blush that is a light pink color because you don't you want to get used to the makeup before you expand your colors and start with like a brighter pink or like a nice hot burgundy color you definitely want to start with something simple um nyc color wheel color wheel is perfect it has a mixture of all these colors let me show you and it looks just like this and um with all these colors it just matches your skin tone perfectly it's nice it's a nice light pink it's good for any any season summer winter christmas fall um it doesn't matter so this is good these are 3.99 from nyc so i definitely suggest you pick up one of those um and then I, I suggest that you pick up a more neutral color that is just a nice bronzy color that can just set your foundation and give you a nice glow. And this is from Zolenzak, um Naturals. You can pick this up at Payless or Target and it's $7.99 and it just looks like this. So this is just a nice color as you can see. On to the, let's go on to the lips really fast. Um, for the lips, again, I'm just going to be showing you two colors. I suggest for lip gloss, you pick up a neutral color. Um, this is from Revlon Beyond Natural in the color 100 Pink Rose. And it's just this nice natural color, as you can see. It's perfect for any skin tone, and it's just a beautiful natural color. So I definitely suggest you pick up a natural color. And I suggest you pick up a brighter color just because it gives you um, more of a variety. You can go from a, a nice bright color to a nice natural color. But I definitely suggest you do have a little bit of a variety. This is from NYMC, and this is just, I ripped the tag off. I don't know why, but it's just a nice hot pink. And um, this was NYC's are like one $1.99 for lip gloss. So this is definitely very good. Um, and then for lipstick, if you, again, if you don't want lipstick, you can totally skip this step, but I'm giving you a variety of every kind of makeup that you can get from a drugstore and what you should get and start out with. So I definitely suggest, again, you get a bright color. This is 410 from CoverGirl. It's not too bright. It's not too light, but I definitely love this color, and I think it's good for a starter kit. It smells so, so good. Um, so I definitely suggest you pick up this. Um, I also suggest you pick up um, a neutral color. This is from Revlon, and it is in the color 202 Crush. So I definitely suggest you pick up this, and this is, again, a neutral color. If you don't want to go too bright, you always have the option to stay neutral. So I think those are two um, very good options that you have in your new makeup kit. For eye mascara, I suggest that you can either go two ways. You can go a little bit more expensive, and this is my favorite lash stiletto by um I believe it's yeah Maybelline lash stiletto it, it's so good I don't have no more in this but I wanted to show you um now what I kind of use this for is just to separate my lashes and stuff like that but I definitely 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 suggest you know what I just realized I wanted to play music in the background and I didn't anyways um I definitely definitely suggest that you do pick this up it's perfect this is $13 so it is a bit exp bit expensive it lasts long and it's great mascara it's so 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 gorgeous I definitely suggest you get this if you don't want to spend that much um a, another kind of product that works just like this is the NYC Big and Bold. I have been using this so much just because I've been too cheap to go out and buy another one of these so I've been using this and it works kind of like the um CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara it's gorgeous um that's what I actually have on right now so I'll show you so it's just a nice, it really just, it's so full. I don't know why I just smelled that, but it just has, the bristles are really good. I, um, I don't know if you can see, but the bristles are really nice. It's really thick and dark, and it goes on great. This is from NYC, and this is $3.99. So definitely suggest you pick that up. Um, for eyeliners, I suggest that you can go in the route of NYC, which all these are $1.99. These are the all the NYC eyeliners that I have, and I haven't really used much of them, but um, they are $1.99, so you can 
get I have a pink one and they come with like pink and black at the end you can get like green and black at the end I don't know where this oh here's the cover you can get like an all white one I suggest and an all blue one I suggest that you just get a couple colors just so you can kind of mix up your look but if you're definitely starting out and you haven't used eyeliner, I suggest just getting a black. Just get a black and get a feel for eyeliner. Don't really go too crazy with colors because you want to find out what matches your face and what doesn't and stuff like that. So definitely just start out with a black. If you're just going to get a black liner, I don't suggest you just go with NYC because they don't go on as good. I suggest you go with CoverGirl Perfection um, pencils. I've been using this for so long. It's a nice jet black. It, that's what I have on right now. It goes um, perfect. I'll show you. See? It's amazing. And these aren't actually expensive. They're $8. So, and it comes with a little smudge brush at the end. So, I definitely... How long is this video going on? Uh, 10 minutes. Okay, not bad. So, I definitely suggest you pick up one of these. Um, again, if you're feeling a little more brave um, and you want to pick up a different variety of colors, I suggest starting with NYC just so you can see how they work. NYC pencils are not the best quality. They don't... It takes a while to go on. It's kind of hard to get it on. But at the end of the day, if you're just looking to try on new colors, this is definitely where you should start because it's really inexpensive. Um, for a liquid liner, I definitely suggest you should pick up a liquid liner because a liquid liner really makes a look look complete and it's so much easier to put on your top lid rather than using pencil liner and having it smudge. Um, the liquid liner I've been using forever and have not changed it and I probably honestly don't want to spend uh, freaking $25 on a liquid liner when I could just spend um, $2 on this NYC. As you can see I love NYC um, New York Color Liquid Eyeliner and this works amazing. I have it on right now. If you watch my previous videos this is literally all I use so I definitely like this. Um, you should definitely, definitely, definitely pick up makeup remover. I can't stress how much, how important it is to have a makeup remover to remove the makeup. And it, you can wash the makeup off with a face cloth or face wash, but a makeup remover gets it so much better. So you can either get a oil makeup remover, which I used the eye makeup remover from Wet n Wild. And I don't use this at the moment. I just picked this up to kind of show you guys what it is. This is $3 from Wet n Wild. Or you can pick up the um, makeup bags and it's the facial towelettes. You can get any kind of facial towelettes, honestly. Um, I've been using the basics for $2.99. Um, so yeah, um, on to the eye makeup. I'm just going to go through these really quickly. I suggest, personally, um, if you want to, uh, you don't have to. This isn't a drugstore product. It is the Coastal Scents 88 Colored Palette. This is really inexpensive, honestly. If you'd rather just pay, pay I believe, I got this on sale when it was $13. Um, they do go up to, I don't think it's more expensive than $16. But honestly, if you'd rather just get a palette with a whole bunch of different colors and rather than and, um just buying separate things then I suggest you pick up this it is amazing I will tell you here's all the colors it is amazing the color the quality the pigmentation of it it's gorgeous so I definitely suggest that instead of um spending drugstore product money and adding it all up to past twenty dollars I suggest you go get a palette of 88 colors and this will last you a great amount of time but if you want to stick with drugstore products then you can either get an NYC um individual eye with not these exact colors but um something like this it comes with the concealer and stuff like that um so you can pick up that i suggest milani milani is a great brand um this color is um this is eight dollars and this if you get a palette like this with a variety of color i definitely suggest picking up something with a variety of color just so you're not stuck to neutrals and stuff like that and then i suggest you get a neutral palette from wet and wild and it just looks like this it has um three matte colors and three highly pigmented effect shadows and it's really really good it shows you on the back how it works and it just as you can see you have your matte colors right here and then you have the very pigmented colors right here and it's just so many neutral colors so to sum it up I suggest that you get a color uh, palette with neutral colors and I suggest that you get a palette with more bright colors because you never know what you're feeling but if you want to spend maybe $12 because Coastal Sense always has a sale I suggest you get the 88 color palette so guys that's all for today's video again if you want a tutorial on this look thumbs up or comment below um, any other questions then let me know I hope you guys are staying glamorous being fierce remember to subscribe rate comment and I will talk to you in another video bye